In the world of film and television, sound effects are often performed by a Foley artist. <laughs> what is a Foley artist? Let's find out. If we're going to talk about the art of performing Foley, we'll need a Foley artist. Susan Fitzsimon, Foley artist. How are you, Susan? Great, Buzz. How are you? I'm doing well, but I don't know what Foley art is. Foley art is performing live sounds. You either replace the sounds that are in a film or you enhance them. You get a film, you look at what the props are, and you use them to perform it live. So you're watching a big screen and you're in sync with the person. Money, for instance, someone's counting money. You don't hear that, it doesn't make sound. So we have to add that in. The boom mic is so far up and the lav mic, you'll never hear the footsteps. So we'll watch the person, the actor, we'll find out what kind of shoes they're wearing, what surface they're on, and then we'll grab different shoes. The art is really in the footsteps because you, you really have to learn to walk on a four by four square. You know, the mic is pointing at your feet. You can't move, so you have to like adjust your feet from the normal way of walking. Now, if a film had a dog that was wearing shoes, would you do that in two passes or would you put shoes on your hands? I would put shoes on my hands and I would do it in one pass. Tips from the pros. Susan, I see that you've brought some Foley props here with you and this is part of the kit that you take with you wherever you're performing. Could you demonstrate some of these sounds for us? Tell us a little about them. So, I mean, these are just basic things. I like to carry some things with me all the time. Um, if you wanted to do, like, say, a police officer's belt, you know, their belts squeak. You know, they have handcuffs. They always have keys on there and, you know, they're going to have a gun. Good old can openers can use as a gun if, if you don't have a gun handy. I can't travel with this bag, obviously. They won't let me in the airports. <laughs> There you go, seat belt, that's, that's an, a, an easy one. And then of course, you know, the good old Zippo lighter, because we always have films where there's one guy who's gonna light that. The um, cool character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, empty that out. See, and that could be, right there, that a could be a effect. great sound effect. So I collect <laughs> anything and everything that makes a sound. Me too. <laughs> Is there one secret that you can share with us to help us with our own Foley sound effects? In footsteps. You don't want to watch the feet, watch the shoulders. Because that is going to be, like to me, like the ebb and flow of, of the person's cadence. If they might have a limp, if you're watching the shoulders, you're going to go with that movement of watching that person walk. And to me, that's the best way to really grab sync on, on the character. Well, Susan Fitzsimon, obviously it's time for us to go. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing some tips and information on Foley art. Thank you, Buzz, for having me. We'll see you all soon.